Ladies and gentlemen, this YouTube channel vlog show is of authenticity, inspiration, and realness. And is also about personality, good times, and fun. This is Eric Lee Shenanigans of 1977. And now, here is your host of the show, Mr. Big Beefy E himself, the elder statesman of Rant and Rave, and Mr. Shenanigans himself, Eric M. Lima. Thank you very much, Mr. Announcer, sir. Well, hello there, everyone. Welcome to yet another episode of Eric Lee Machine. It's 1977, episode 1053. This is a two-for-one special of NXT, because this is the final NXT before deadline. And I have with me my NXT deadline picks and predictions. That's right. We're doing a, we're doing a double shot. That's right. ABC, a thumbnail with two separate thumbnails. You know why. So, I figure you know. With um, NXT Deadline coming this Saturday. I'm really excited about it. And I've already um, made my uh, picks and predictions. And we'll get to that in just a moment. Right now we're going to talk about what happened on NXT. Ladies and gentlemen. The final NXT before Deadline. Uh, there's, a, there's some huge changes in uh, news but far, uh, as far as the Deadline is concerned. So let's get going. Um. The, la the women's last chance qualifier, the Fatal 4-Way, Roxanne Perez took a takes um, versus Thea Hale, Fallon Henley, and Kiana James. And Lyra Valkyrie is watching the match while Tatum Paxley creepily stalks her. What is Tatum, pa Tatum Paxley's deal? We'll find that out. And, um, and during the match, Roxanne Perez and Kiana James have beaten the heck out of each other so much and put each other to a table... They were taken. They took themselves out of the match of giving Fa uh, Fallon Henley and Thea Hale a chance, and Thea Hale tried to capitalize it, but Fallon Henley ended up picking up the victory, and she's the fifth woman in that Iron Survivor Challenge. I will get to that. Uh, meanwhile, Ilya Dragunov does. Uh, Ilya Dragunov does arrive at the PC raid to confront Baron Corbin in their face-to-face -face confrontation before this Saturday. Meanwhile, there's a tic-tac-talk battle going on between Metaphor and Alpha Academy as they prepare for their six-person mix, uh, six mixed tag match. And Kelly Kincaid interviews Lyra Vicaria, but Lola Vice and Electra Lopez, I knew Lola Vice would have to say something. Cause, you know, um, she said, uh, you know, Lyra Vicaria was talking about she's looking forward to the Iron Survivor Challenge, but Lola Vice reminds her that, hey, um, that, that, uh, that, hey, I have the, you know, she has the contract from the breakout tournament, which we'll get to, to that, and, and she says she'd cash it in at any time, so, she goes, she goes, whenever you're ready, and Tatum Paxley comes in, chimes in, and she, she can beat you any time, but then, Little Vice was about to go, but then, and, and then, uh, and then Electro Lopez goes, save it for the match. So, and Larry Raquel is like, what are you doing, you know? Meanwhile, Wes Lee was talking to a stagehand, and he was on crutches. I'm like, uh-oh, come on, don't tell me. Afraid that he ha he needs to have back surgery. He's hurt his back somehow. He needs to have back surgery. He'll be out 8 to 12 months. He was addressing the NXT Universe about that. So, that means 8 months to a year. Man, we're not going to see him until next Christmas. Get well, let Wesley. But David Mysterio interrupts Lee because he goes, "Hey, I got the night off." But and then all of a sudden, Wesley goes, "Ah, oh, you're not gonna have the night off. You're still the, uh, fighting this Saturday and defending that title." And I got a person that knows you very, very well. Will tell you who it is. Ray Mysterio appears on the Titan Tron and says, "Hey, Dominic, son, how you doing?" And listen, you're gonna be defending that title, uh, and I'll be in the corner uh, of the future of Lucha Libre. Dragon Lee. I would not be so surprised if Santos Escobar gets involved in this matchup. So, but, I'm kind of hoping that Lee will end it. But, so, we'll see what happens there. Uh, so, so Dominic Mysterio goes from fight, have to fight one Lee to another Lee. Hmm. Interesting. So, where are we here? And so, both men fight it out, but, um, and in the, in the trainer's room, Izzy Dane chucks on Keanu James. 
The nanny came out of James and said, I'm going to end her. And Roxanne Perez was getting checked out on the other side. Said, you're going to end me? Both ladies find out. Then Abel Rain says, that's it. I've had it. That's it. Enough. I'm going to talk to Sean to see if we get this. It looks like, I think Abel Rain's acting like a liaison for the um, general manager, Sean Michaels of NXT. So, we'll see you. Um, We'll see what uh, we'll see what what goes on there. So, the men's breakout tournament competitors speak out and, and state their reason why they entered the uh, and um, why they deserve to win the breakout tournament. And these are the eight men that'll be fighting at fighting it out: Oba Femi, Tavian Heights, Miles Bourne, Luca Crucifino, Trey Bearhill, Dion Lennox. Riley Osborne and Keanu Carver. Um, Riley Osborne, uh, Miles Bourne, Luca Crisofino, Tavion Heights, old Bebe Femi have been on TV before. Trey, Trey Bearhill, I think she, he will appear on NXT. So the only two people, Keanu Carver and Dion Lennox, have yet to appear on NXT television. This is a huge opportunity for them now to, to win the breakout tournament. So, the winner gets a shot at the NXT title. In cashing in. So, Tatum, in women's action, Tatum Paxley versus Lola Vice. Heck of a matchup. You know, every time I see Lola Vice, the attitude-wise reminds me of the early days of Melina in the WWE when she, when Melina was a heel. A uh, heel. A heel. Heel. When she was, when she was a, a villain with Eminem, Mercury, and Nitro. And Lola Vice, attitude-wise, gives me... Gives me Gives me those Melina vibes. I think that's going to carry her to a newer level. And she's got that. And she won the breakout tournament. So she keeps up that killer instinct. I think Lola Vice could be the next NXT Women's Champion. But my I digress. So Lola Vice did pick up the victory over the mysterious and dark Tatum Paxley. Well, Nathan Frazier got finished over a match last week. And, uh, you know, Axiom was talking to him. and said, hey, let's have a friendly match between the two of us. And said, yeah, okay, no problem, mate. Kelly Kincaid now... Big news, Mackenzie Mitchell has been released by the WWE, so she's no longer the backstage interviewer for NXT. Kelly Kincaid is now the main backstage interviewer. And she interviewed Baron Corbin as he arrived in the NXT PC. Corbin says he's got Ilya dragging up where he wants him. So, so there is that. Meanwhile, the NXT Anonymous is at it again. Spies on Carmelo Hayes and Triple A was talking about something. Obviously, it's about the Lexus King situation and entering that fatal um, four-way match for the last chance of our Iron Survivor Challenge. But then, as Vic Joseph Booker T were talking about that situation, Joe Gacy, we love you! Ah! Joe Gacy gone crazy. Crazy Gacy. I'm going to call him Crazy Gacy. At it again. Hashtag Crazy Gacy. Anyways, so there's that. Then there's the six-person mixed tag match, Alpha Academy. Chad Gable, Otis, and Maxine Dupuis, along with the along with Mr. Akira Tazalasan in the corner of the Alpha, Alpha Academy, while the metaphor will counter with um, Oro Mensa, the main man, the Heritage Cup champ, Noam Dar, and Lash Legend with Jakara Jackson in their corner. Heck of a match with this wise to the point where during the match, Lash Legend body slammed Otis. If you know, you know, if I want to see Lash Legend team up with somebody, I think Jade Cargill and Lash Legend could make a great women's tag team. They would probably be the most dominant tag women's tag team ever. But Jade, but not, not Jade, but Lash Legend body slammed Otis. That was crazy. You know, I'm surprised Ray Ripley and he, you know, Ray Ripley did body slam Luke Gallo. So I think Lash Legend did one better. I think Otis weighs more than Luke Gallows did. So Lash Legend, but I can't believe Lash Legend body slammed Otis. That was crazy. But despite that, Alpha Academy ended up winning the matchup. Meanwhile, Tank Ledger and Hank Walker walk into the, into the Gallows Boys Bar. So what are you doing here? You must be lost. He goes, no. We're here to challenge you to a matchup to make a name for ourselves. You want a match against us? And then, and then Hank Walker was like dissing them, you know, dissing the Scottish team and uh, soccer team and everything. You guys want to match with us? You got it, but be careful what you wish for. Basically. So, Ava Rain was interviewed. Uh, she is helping uh, out with HBK. 
and uh, she had made the matchup she, uh, by order HBK. The matchup between uh, Roxanne Perez and Keanu James will be in, will be contested inside a steel cage this Saturday in NXT Deadline. Myron Saxon interviewed the five uh, Iron Survivor Challenge uh, female participants in the matchup. Uh, for those you do not know, Lash Legend is part of it. Tiffany Stratton, Kaylani Jordan, Blair Davenport, and now Fallon Henley. They all have their stated their reason why they're going to win the Survivor Challenge. And then, and they were arguing, and Byron's and Byron's Saxon interviewing them. And he, he goes, I was supposed to do this comment. And then they started brawling, and Byron Saxon goes, I tried, I give up. I don't blame him. Axiom and Frazier, though, that match was next, and it ended up in an old, con- in an old contest. That's because all five uh, Iron Survivors Challenge ladies were too busy brawling, interrupting the matchup, and Axiom and, and Nathan Frazier were like, what the heck, dudes? Man, what the heck, guy? So, but during that brawl, guess who came back? Nikita Lyons. That's right. I wear his- I was wearing her shirt for a reason. I, I knew I was wearing her shirt for a reason. Well, NXT night, and the King of Lions came back and kicked Blair Davenport with a roundhouse kick when that nice old big gracious booty of hers propelling that kick. And I said, Blair Davenport is Blair Davenport is gonna <laughs> gonna get her butt kicked. I knew that was gonna happen. Davenport was should have been ready for that. And then Andre Chase um, addressed Chase U, and he said, "Well, this is my fault. Well, I'm guess I haven't given any ideas. And we want to, and Dave, the Chase U says want to help me say, hey, why don't we do a bake sale? And I was like, oh yeah, right. You know, why don't we do a car wash? And then Riley Osborne was saying something about how we we, we deal with it. And then the Stia Hale is starting to have goo goo eyes for Riley Osborne. I would not be surprised that Thea Hale is is Gonna work a romantic storyline with Riley Osborne. Come on. I don't know, man. This is gonna be crazy. So we'll see what happens in that situation. Meanwhile, uh Carmelo Hayes was talking to Williams before the matchup and said, Hey, you do your thing. Then Lexis King addresses um Hayes on X. Looks like uh what is Lexis King talking about? Is Lexis King claiming that Hayes worked with them or something like that? I don't know. Then the the my um last chance men uh, Men's Iron Survivor Challenge Qualifier, Carmelo Hayes, goes over to Tyler, Bank, Tyler Bate, Joe Coffey, and Eddie Thorpe. Eddie Thorpe, though, t- was taken out of the matchup while, um, actually, Thorpe was interviewed by Kelly K before the matchup. He says, I gotta go out there and get the job done. Then, Eddie Thorpe was taken out during the matchup while brawling with Joe Coffey. And then it became a triple threat. In the end, Tyler Bate ended up winning the matchup. He'd be the fifth man in. And then he addresses the NXT Universe why he's going to win the Iron Survivor Challenge. Then Dijak interrupts Tyler Bate, but then while he was talking, he kicks Eddie Thorpe down and says, get his butt out of here. And then he starts to continue trash talking uh, Tyler Bate. And then Braun Breaker interrupts Bate and Dijak, and Breaker says he's going to beat both of them. And then Josh Bridge interrupts Br- Breaker, and he says he's going to beat everybody up. And Trick Williams comes in, interrupts all five men, and all five men brawl. Williams then confronted Hayes about uh, Alexis King, and then and then, and he says, "I'm go- I'm going to prove it to you by kicking Lex- Lexus King's butt this Saturday." He asks Ava for a match at, at um for um for the match against Alexis King at Deadline. They're going to get, and then and, and then that's the conversation concluded. Mello opens the show. Trick ends the show. Mm-hmm. There we go. Trick Williams is ready. So, anyways, then we had the face to face. Uh, confrontation between Ilya Dragunov and Baron Corbin. Corbin talking about Dragunov's family. He's trying to make Dragunov lose his head and then he hugs. He kind of like about to hit you know uh, Corbin which is one of his special suplexes will give him a hug. He says the only person that can slay the dragon is the dragon himself. And, Corbin, and, and, and as he let go of the clutch Baron Corbin's like what the heck are you talking about? Who's got the mind games down, Mr. Corbin? Then, um, and, all five, and then the five Iron uh, Survivor Challenge men decided to brawl out once again. Ladies and gentlemen, I gotta tell you, it is going to be something else. Now, before 
we end the video, we gotta do one more uh, we gotta do one more thing, and that is picks and predictions for NXT's deadline. That's right, that's coming up. And uh, and I gotta tell you, this has been a crazy, crazy day. So, this is gonna be a crazy week, and like I said, um, there might be a little bit of snow tomorrow. I don't know if I'm gonna shovel or not and stay late. But, but, uh, I already did the Joker's Wild video. It will be uploaded and be scheduled for 12.30 tomorrow. That way it makes it look like that I've already uploaded a video for tomorrow. So, there, so there you go. Low warning. Now, it's time for the NXT 2023. Here's the card. I'll read it off just in case you don't read my handwriting. Axiom. Going up against Nathan Frazier. That will be the kickoff match. Kamala Hayes going one-on-one -on -one with Lexus King. Roxanne Perez versus Kiana James in a steel cage matchup. Meanwhile, the Iron Survivor Willing uh, matchup, the Women's Challenge. The, the, the women will take place. Tiffany Stratton versus Lash Legend. Kelani Jordan, Blair Davenport, and Fallon Henley. The Iron Survivor Men's uh, matchup will consist of Jack versus Tyler Bate versus Braun Breaker versus Josh, Williams, uh, Josh Briggs and Trick Williams. North American title on the line, like I said, you know, uh, Wes Lee is out, but another Lee is in. Dominic Mysterio versus Dragon Lee. And then the NXT title, Ilya Dragunov versus Baron Corbin. So, who did I have picked in this matchup? Axiom versus Nathan Frazier. I think Nathan Frazier's undergone to a character change, and Axiom's win over Frazier can drive him to that level. Meanwhile, Carmelo Hayes versus Lex King. Hayes don't. Hayes do, does not miss. Camelo don't miss on this one. Roxanne Perez versus Kiana James in a steel cage. I picked Roxanne Perez to win this one. Meanwhile, the Iron Survivor Challenge match. Tiffany Stratton versus Latch Legend versus Kaylani joining Blair Davenport and Fallon Henley. Blair Davenport's due to get a title shot around here. Even though she's taking out a lot of people, I think Blair Davenport... Could be the reason why I picked her to win. Meanwhile, Dijak, Tyler Bate, Braun Breaker, Josh Briggs, and Trick Williams. I have a, a torn between Williams and Bate, so I'm picking Williams to uh, win that one. Rey Myster uh, Dominic Mysterio will defend the title against Dragon Lee with Rey Mysterio. I got a hunch that Santos Escobar may have somehow get involved in the matchup, giving Rey Myster uh, Dominic Mysterio the victory, but Lee's due to a title. And I picked Dragon Lee over Dominic Mysterio. And then finally, Ilya Dragunov versus Baron Corbin for the title. Dragunov retains. So, so there we go. There we go. And these are the picks and predictions right here. Check them out if you can. I've had them written down just in case we go over them at Rant and Rave. And uh, that'll be Thursday. So, so. That is it. That's all the time we have on the show. Thank you for tuning in. Um, I will see you guys later. You guys have a wonderful, wonderful night. Stay safe out there. If you're um, in the area and it has a little bit of snow, stay stay safe out there, please. And um, and I will see you guys later. Okay. So until the next episode comes rolling around, Mr. Announcer, sir, take us home. This concludes today's episode. This is Mr. Lima speaking for Eric Lima Shenanigans of 1977. A big beefy E, do it for Bob Saget Productions, and in association with A Raven Bofa Telepictures and Distribution. See you next time on another episode of the show. Goodbye for now.